All right, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, <clears throat> out on the river this morning. I haven't done a video yet of my new cheap fly rod. And uh, since the fish are kind of waking up here this morning, I figured I would take the opportunity This is a nice fish. I don't think... I don't, there we go. To introduce you all to the... Uh, come here. That's it. What do we got? That's 13. That's a pretty fishy. Get this out of you. That'll do. All right. This is my new uh, Max Catch Extreme, nine foot, five weight. Um, I pair it up with a Cortland rim fly and a double taper five fly line. I picked up this rod on eBay for thirty six dollars. Um, I bought my reel used and the fly line was 550. Picked that one up this morning on a bead headed pheasant tail and um, the water right now is flowing at about 250 CFS. It's a little high still, higher than I like it, but it's nice. It's weightable um, at 57, 58 degrees. And the fish are just kind of starting to wake up. Um, so I would say the uh, the max catch the max catch extreme here. Um, you'll notice I always I always number mine. You know there are critics of that, but I like knowing how big the fish really is. Um, and uh, I like the way it handles. Um, it casts very nicely and. Does a pretty good job of laying out a line, mending, and it has enough snot to to handle a fish decently. And that's what we all want. You know, we don't want just a, a limp noodle out in the water. And um, and so far so good. I mean, for 36 bucks, you really can't go wrong. I mean, it's a stick after all, right? So, um, was it last year or two years ago? I'm in the same spot. Um, I'm in the same spot that I had my new Sugayang rod out that I paid $23 for. They're up to like $36 now. Maybe you can find one for $28, depending on where you go. Um, and they're okay, too. I mean, I always hear... People making recommendations about you know a new guy wants a fly rod. What do you know? What do you get? <laughs> and they're like recommending these $300 investments to these guys um, who are just kind of trying to figure this out for the first time. And uh, so I'm fishing. I'm fishing a $36 stick, you know, and I'm catching fish with it because, as always, and I'll say this over and over again, the fish don't care what you paid for that rod. Just like that one. Does not care what I paid for this rod. Come here, you. I am netless again today because... I didn't feel like dragging the thing around with me. Alright, let's get this fish up here. Whoop. I'm glad the water's nice and cool. I got plenty of spunk to them. Hey, little nipper. Come here, little nipper. Come here, bring the little nipper over here. Come here. Settle down. Okay. Yeah. 
he was really a little nipper. All right. So, and they seem to be waking up here this morning. So, uh... Hey, this is nice. Trying out my new video glasses, too. I'm not as thrilled with these as I was my last pair, but, you know, things wear out. I'm not buying a GoPro. That's just not happening. These will do just fine. If I could get prescription lenses for this, man, that would be the cat's ass. So, um... Yep, it's just a nice day of fishing. Yeah, and they're not crazy on either. I see, I see bugs coming off, but... I mean, these are stalkers. They're still... They're still just trying to figure stuff out, you know? Oop, I got some underwater obstruction there. Let's try not to get tangled up in the stuff underwater. Okay, so same spot next afternoon. Caddis is coming off here and there. And uh, water temperature is like 63 degrees now. And see no surface activity, but man, it's nice out here. So I'll fish. Back out with the max catch still. Just wondering if anybody's looking up today. I'm fishing a uh, fishing one of my pregnant hare's ears with just a little soft tackle on it. Dropped off a size 12 caddis. Although I don't know that my nymph is getting deep enough because the water is up still a bit. You know, when the water's up, still got to get the fly down. Okay, so finally got one to take. I think all they've done since the caddises are coming out is I think they just moved up because I have been pounding it pretty good here. Come on, get your head up. There you go. Ooh, how'd I get you? Oh gosh, I hope I didn't eye hook you. You're not mouth hooked. Come here. Yeah, he's foul hooked. Come here. Come here. I don't I don't blame you for disliking this, but Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Come here. I'm sure that hurts. I think I think this is yesterday's 13. Look at that. That's a horrible horrible place to get hooked. Come here. I'm going to get that out of you. There we go. Let him go back in. All right. So, I think that's what happened. I think they all moved up. I think that was yesterday's 13. So, 
So since they moved up, I'm going to do the same. Because he was about 50 foot, 75 foot back yesterday from where he was today. So, because rainbows are movers, man. They don't just sit around in one spot. They are movers. I'm quite sure he's not alone. That fish was definitely well behind me yesterday. Oh, that, my friends, was a fishy. That was a fishy. Ooh, like that. Oh, damn it. Come on, take it again. One more time. Come on. That was two. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come on, let me get you on the third one. Come on, you'll take it again. Come on, don't be a wuss. That's funny. So I moved back again. You know, and there are fish here. I don't know why the ones upstream were happier about eating than these guys, but... I want that fish now. Went for it twice on two casts and I missed them. <laughs> 